KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, April 7th. I'm James Spann. We've got rain across the state now. A round of strong storms early Thursday morning. Cooler air than a chance of strong to severe storms on Easter Sunday. Very busy pattern, which is what we expect here in early to mid-April. Let's take a look. Here's the upper air flow pattern across the country this afternoon at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. That big upper low just west of Los Angeles, that's the one that might bring strong, maybe severe storms here on Easter Sunday morning, but it's got a ways to go before it gets here. First off, away producing rain across the state. That was the radar at uh, 214, the composite. Uh, light to moderate rain, some embedded thunderstorms, but uh, no severe weather, and really we don't expect any with this stuff today. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s where the rain is falling. Birmingham at 67, Gadsden 73. Around the nation, the watch warning map, flash flood watches for parts of California. Red flag warnings for parts of Nebraska for fire danger. And looks like a winter storm watch for parts of Maine. Here's the severe weather outlook through tonight. The main risk of severe storms from near Chicago and Grand Rapids down through places like Cleveland, Cincinnati, Indianapolis, over to Washington, D.C., and Baltimore. The main threat's going to be from strong straight-line winds. And again, there's a very low-end marginal risk for southwest Alabama, but just severe weather should not be a problem around here today. Now, this is tomorrow into early Thursday. Keep in mind, this outlook extends through 7 a.m. Thursday. We've got a large slight risk, level 2 out of 5, centered around Memphis, St. Louis, Nashville, that uh, does include the far northern part of Alabama. Uh, that slight risk down to Vernon and Cullman and Fort Payne. A marginal risk all the way down to uh, Grove Hill and Troy and Eufaula. The area is in darker green. More about this in a minute. And then this is during the day Thursday after 7 a.m. A marginal risk mainly east of the state. That kind of clips the far eastern counties. But much of the day Thursday should be dry once the storms exit. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Pretty wet down here. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts between two and three inches for much of the state. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. That upper low is near San Diego, and we'll watch that. And for us, uh, the day tomorrow will be warm. Highs up in the low to mid-80s, and there could be a few showers around, scattered showers. This is the high-res NAM at 7 o'clock, really not showing a lot. But a cold front's going to be slicing in here after midnight tomorrow night. This is 3 a.m. Thursday. You can see a line of storms entering northwest Alabama. And those could be strong to severe based on the forecast parameters. They'll have the chance of strong winds, hail, and there could be an isolated tornado. And then by 6 o'clock Thursday morning, the storms are roughly along Interstate 20 and probably weakening at that point. This is the instability. This is 4 a.m. Thursday, and those numbers are amazingly high for the middle of the night. Uh, you can see the instability values between two and 3,000 joules per kilogram over North Alabama. This is the SRH, the storm relative felicity. Uh, those values would support a few rotating updrafts. And the STP, the significant tornado parameter, kind of coming in five to six units through here. So... Uh, looks like the chance of a middle-of-the-night severe weather episode. And again, this is after midnight tomorrow night into early Thursday morning. So, uh, again, if you watch these videos, you know what's going on. But be sure that your friends and neighbors are aware that they'll have a need to have a way of getting warnings if we have to have them in the middle of the night. Then during the day Thursday, drier air moves in, the sky becoming mostly sunny. The high will be close to 70. Friday. A sunny day, a cool day, highs in the 60s. And then Saturday, Saturday morning will be pretty chilly. We'll start the day 38 to 42. There could be a touch of light frost in the colder spots, but most places will not see frost. 
The day Saturday, partly sunny, highs in the upper 60s. Clouds will likely increase late in the day. And then Sunday, boom, here comes the system that's in association with the upper low that's currently near Los Angeles and San Diego. This is the GFS depiction, and this is the European depiction. It's got the surface low between Memphis and Nashville along Interstate 40, and that would be a favorable severe weather setup here. Uh, this is the instability Sunday. And again, those values would certainly support severe weather with the dynamics in play. And speaking of the dynamics in play, there's the uh, depiction of the shortwave trough coming out. And again, that's what's currently the upper low near Los Angeles and San Diego, going somewhat negative tilt. Um, but again, this is a Sunday event, and we're talking here Tuesday. So things could change. But at the moment, it looks like Sunday, Easter Sunday, could be a severe weather day for parts of the Deep South. So just stay tuned on that. And then Monday, that feature is on by. We're going to turn cooler. We could be in the 50s all day Monday with a pretty good north wind. And this is a, a week from today. Look at that uh, trough over the eastern states. That's a cold pattern right there. And uh, Tuesday morning, we could easily see lows well down in the 30s. Growers beware. These are the anomalies. Temperatures way below average for the eastern two-thirds of the country. Let's go out 10 days, Friday of next week, the 17th, troughing north of here. And again, that looks pretty quiet. Rain for Birmingham off the GFS Ensemble, the mean between 3 and 4 inches. Here are the numbers off the National Blend of Models. And you can see those lower spikes. But let's go to the GFS Ensemble, and I think it's closer to the truth here. Uh, it's got 40 for Birmingham on Saturday morning. But look at Thursday and Friday morning of next week with those mid-30s. And uh, that could easily affect crops. Uh, so just be aware of that. Again, that's the 16th and 17th of April, a little past that April 15th deadline we typically give every year. And this is the brand-new temperature outlook from the Climate Prediction Center for the 15th through the 21st. A lot of very dark blue in there with that cold pattern setting up next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.